हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक फर्स्टली वी विल नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द वेटेज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन द गेट एग्जामिनेशन नाउ वी हैड बाइफरकेटेड द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग इनटू सिक्स चैप्टर्स द फर्स्ट वन इज हाईवे डेवलपमेंट एंड प्लानिंग आउट ऑफ व्हिच two question had been asked in the gate exam whose weightage is 4 marks the next one is highway geometric design it carries 67 questions in the gate examination whose weightage is 99 marks the next one is traffic engineering whose weightage is 88 marks and it will contain 58 questions in the gate examination previously okay now the next one is design of highway pavements Out of this chapter, fifty question had been asked in the gate examination, and whose weightage is of seventy-three marks. Now the next one is highway material, which is one of the most important chapter in the transportation engineering, in which thirty-four question had been asked in the gate examination, whose weightage is forty-three marks. And the last one is railway and airport engineering, out of which three question had been asked. in the gate examination whose weightage is 4 marks so we need to study these four chapters very carefully so that we will be able to score maximum marks from these four chapters now we will see the year wise weightage of marks of transportation engineering in the gate examination in 2020 11 marks question had been asked in the gate examination from transportation engineering similarly 12 marks question had been asked in 2019 8 marks question in 2018 similarly 9 marks questions in 2017 so at an average the transportation engineering will carry almost 10 to 11 marks in the gate examination so this subject is very important from the gate point of view because it will contain almost 10 to 11% of the total gate marks so this subject is very important now the reference book which we are going to use in the transportation engineering the first one is highway engineering by khanna and justo and the second one is transportation engineering by sp tendola now we will refer irc wherever it is necessary now we will move to our topic that is highway development and planning in which we are going with the first topic that is historical development of road construction nowadays road are constructed over the embankment just to ensure safety against drainage and highest flood level now you have seen that before constructing the road or any other pavement we need to construct the embankment just to ensure the safety against the drainage and highest flood level so the roads for which embankments are constructed are called as highways what are the design life of highway for express highway generally the design life is of 25 years and for national and state highway its design life is 15 years now we will understand the chronological order of road development the first one is roman development now this is the cross section of a particular road according to the roman development now the features of roman development first one is straight regardless of gradient it means that we will provide each layer in the straight form regardless of the gradient of the soil now the next one is soft soil was removed and a hard stratum was reached we have to remove all the soft soil from the bottom till we don't reach to a particular hard stratum now the next one is curb provided now in this development we had provided curb which will separate the pavement okay now pavement constructed in number of layers in roman development the pavement is constructed in number of layer that is surface course sub base course base course etc top surface is hardened now we had provided the large stone at the top so the top surface is hardened now the drawbacks of roman development what are the various drawbacks of roman development first one is no cross slope is provided now if we don't provide any cross slope to any particular layer then there will be the problem of drainage at each and every layer that will be one of the main drawback of roman development that 
in roman development all the layers are straight no cross slope is provided that's why drainage is one of the main problem in the roman development now the next one is no drainage system here we don't provide any drainage system it is one of the major drawback of roman development because the water which is coming in the rainy season on the top of the pavement penetrate deep inside the road and it will deteriorate the quality of road now the next one is large foundation stone at the bottom now here the main drawback is large foundation stone at the bottom because they had not analyzed the behavior of loads whether the load is large enough or whether it is small in magnitude so they had not analyzed the nature of load as well as the magnitude of load they had directly put the large stone at the bottom so it will be one of the drawback of roman development now we will move to the next development that is Tresagate construction this is developed by p Tresagate in france now in Tresagate construction we had kept all the things similar to the roman development with slight modification what are the modifications done in the Tresagate construction the first one is side drain is provided as compared to the roman development in Tresagate construction we had provided a side drain so that water which is coming on the top of the pavement will slowly move to this side drainage system and it will not penetrate deep inside the pavement so it will not deteriorate the pavement similarly the second one is cross slope at top layer now in roman development all the layers are straight but in Tresagate construction we had provided cross slope only at the top layer which is shown here that is of 1 in 45 which is written here now the remaining things are same we had provided curve in the roman development also and here we had also provided the curve now in roman development at base or at foundation we had provided the large stone just similar to the roman development we had provided large stone in Tresagate construction also like this so the drawback of Tresagate construction are large foundation stone at bottom which is one of the main drawback of roman development also as well as no cross slope at the internal layer here we had only provided the cross slope at the top layer we don't had provided any cross slope at the other internal layers which is shown here so this is one of the major drawbacks of Tresagate construction now we will move to the next construction that is telford construction now the remaining things are same as that of Tresagate and roman development with slight modification now what are the modifications done in telford construction here cross slopes are provided to all the layer which is shown here that is cross slope is provided to all the layers so that drainage system will be effective in this type of construction the drawbacks of telford construction are large foundation stone at bottom which is one of the most important drawbacks of roman as well as Tresagate construction which is shown here that is large foundation stone at the bottom here the slope provided at the top layer is 1 in 60 now we can move to the next type of construction that is macadam construction which is one of the best construction in all the four types of construction now this is developed by john macadam and macadam was the first person who suggested that large foundation stone is not required at bottom layer he suggested the type of material as per the stress distribution in different layers now macadam was the first person who has put all the materials in each layer according to the stress coming in that layer now he had analyzed the stresses in each and every layer and he has put the material according to the stress coming on that layer now we know that stress is equals to load upon area which is written here the maximum load is coming at the top that is of magnitude p now we generally construct the embankment just like this that is of trapezoidal shape so the top layer area is very less as compared to the bottom area that is a1 is very less as compared to a4 if a1 is very less as compared to a4 stress at the first layer is very high as compared to the stress at the bottom layer because 
स्ट्रेस इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एरिया नाउ इफ एरिया इज वेरी लेस देन स्ट्रेस इज वेरी हाई एंड इफ एरिया इज वेरी हाई देन स्ट्रेस इज वेरी लो सो वी हैड प्रोवाइडेड very high modulus of elasticity material at the top layer so e1 is greater than e2 is greater than e3 and e3 is greater than e4 the cbr value of first layer material is very high as compared to the next layer material as compared to the next layer material and as compared to the last layer material so we had provided the very strong material at the top layer and weak material at the bottom layer because at the bottom layer the stress value is very less as compared to the top layer now according to the macadam construction the cross section of a particular road is shown here that is the side drainage which we had seen in the telford as well as in dressagate construction also now here is a curb which is shown here that will be provided in all the three types of construction before and in this macadam construction all the layer is provided with cross slope that is shown here now the bottom layer is known as subgrade which is represented by c5 here c stands for clay and 5 stands for sand the next layer is subbase that is gsb here gsb means granular subbase that is aggregate and muram the next layer is base course which is represented by wbm or wmm that is water bound macadam or weight mixed macadam the next layer is surface cores and the top layer is the wearing surface now these are the four types of construction which had taken place one by one the starting with the roman development the next is the dressagate construction the next one is telford construction and the most recent is the macadam construction that is all about the historical development of road construction thank you very much students